Hello students, this is the third video in the row uh, of uh, basic concepts of thermodynamics. So now today the trick is again same smart people very talented again same square but now today we will make only one square that is only the smart people very talented now this is the shortcut now let us take an example this, now today we will learn about maxwell relations let us start with p we go from p to v so when we go from p to v this is del p over del s at constant v third one is at constant v so when we go from p to v arrow goes down so same rule is applied when arrow goes down it is with negative sign and that is equal to now what is left behind it is t so we go as we go from p to v in anti clockwise direction so from t we go clockwise up to s it is like this the one which is left we start from that and go backward when we go from t to s this is del t to del v at constant del t del v at constant s and when we go from t to s arrow goes up so it is with plus sign so this is the maxwell first relation <laughs> Now, second, uh, now when first we start from P, now we start from S. So we go from S to T. When we go from S to T, it is like del S to del V at constant T. So when we go from S to T, arrow goes down. So it is with a negative sign and is equal to now what is left we left with p now from p we go backward so it is del p to del t at constant v and when we go from p to v arrow again goes down so it is again with a negative sign so negative negative we cancel it so relation is del s del v constant t is equal to p t at constant v so this is maxwell second relation now we go from v to t so when we go from v to t it is so t sorry to v to t at constant p and when we go from v to p arrow goes up so it is with plus sign and it is equal to now we go from s in so when we go from s to t now it is so s to 
be at constant t so when we go from s to t arrow goes down so it is with negative sign so this is your third maxwell relation fourth relation we starts from t so we go from t to s so when we go from t to s it is so t to so p at constant s and when we go from t to s arrow goes up so it is with plus sign and equal to no we left with v so we go from v to p so v to s at constant p and when we go from v to p arrow goes up it is again with plus sign so this is maxwell's fourth relation so these are four maxwell relations thank you very much for watching this video and it is very helpful for iit j advanced iit jam your csir net as well as gate exam